news that Trinidad Petroleum Holdings Limited has issued a RFP, which is a request for proposal for parry of fuel trading, the state-owned company set up by government to secure a steady supply of fuel for this country. Chairman of the company, Wilfred Espinet, told TTT News, the company is a limited section of the value chain with limited chance of operating profitability. More in this report. Trading was set up to replace the now defunct Petrotrin in satisfying fuel demand on the local and regional market the company is being offered up for sale. The decision is not sitting well with the opposition, which has described it as a slap in the face to citizens who it says are still coming to terms with the closure of Petrotrin's oil refinery. In a statement on Sunday, opposition member of parliament for point of Pair, Dr. David Lee said the government must not forget that the resources belong to the people. This, as he added, issues such as these should have been brought for discussion and scrutiny to the Parliament via the Parliament Oversight Energy Committee. TTT spoke briefly to Chairman of Trinidad Petroleum Holdings Limited, Wilfred Espinay, via text message, who refuted any claims that it was always the plan to sell the company. In a newspaper article on Sunday, the chairman is quoted as saying the company was initially formed to maintain fuel supply following the closure of Petrogen's oil refinery. Former Energy Minister Kevin Ramnarine also weighed in on the news via Twitter, saying if Paria Fuel Trading is being privatized, then the state should allow other companies to import fuel into Trinidad and Tobago. He added that this will create a competitive fuel trading platform and enhance national energy security. TTT News reached out to Energy Minister Franklin Kahn via calls and text messages. However, up to news time, he was not available for comment. Janine Brown, TTT News.